I'm so humiliated. Clean the house. Mind the children. Cook the meals. Oh, all this housework is wearing out the strength of every man in the city. How do you suppose the women always seem to manage it so easily? Perhaps they were made of cast iron. Uh -huh. Here now, who gave you men permission to think? No one. No one what? No one, Colonel Cardin, I'm sorry. Oh, that's better. Now let's see some movement there, Chubby. Oh, yes, ma'am. And you! Don't you have some supper dishes to wash? Yes, Colonel Cardin, sir. Well, then let's march, mister. Up, two, three, four. Get out of my way! Oh. Now we have Glinda to contend with. You stupid, stupid girl! How could you let them get away? I told you I was scared! There were mice all over the place! I was scared! Oh, I'd love to give you something to be scared of! But there isn't time! We have no choice now but to attack! An ambush tonight before dawn! I hope you're not afraid of the dark as well! Did you hear her? Tonight she plans to attack! It's nearly sunset already. We've got to do something. We've got to warn the others. A dispatch from the enemy, General. It's Queen! Queen, Queen, Queen! How many times do I have to tell you? Jeez. Shut up! Ugh, read that. Dear Queen Ginger, see, even she calls me by my proper title. <laughs> Please deliver on me to be my prisoner. Huh. Do this and no harm shall come to you. Love, Glinda. <laughs> <laughs> Curse that woman! I see trouble ahead for all of us. Us? But all Glenda wants is you. Yes! And old Mumby wants his little Tipitarius. And there's no one about to stop me, do you understand? But the Quiet! As clever as Glinda is, she's still capable of being deceived. You let me have my way. I'll save myself and your throne as well. Get out of here. Please. A deception is what is needed. But how to get to the boy without Glinda knowing it? All right, Sawhorse. We're going to have to split up. That way at least one of us might get through to Tip. Well, it's now or never. You go that way and I'll try and make it across the square. Goodbye, Sawhorse. Good luck. Why, if it isn't little Jelly or Jam. I haven't seen you in Jam.
run for you, Glinda, but I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Captain, my golden lariat, quickly! We must capture Mombi's spirit! Oh, please don't let me be possessed! Oh, please don't let me be possessed! Have no fear, children. As long as the golden thread remains around her, she is capable of no magic. What have I done to be persecuted so? Nothing to me. But you have clearly demonstrated your intentions to be most wicked indeed. And for abusing your knowledge of sorcery, I intend to punish you quite severely. I defy you! You dare not harm me! Oh, Glinda! You think not? You had best reconsider. Now, I want you to tell the others about the wonderful Wizard of Oz and what became of the child Oz. Oz! <laughs> You know. They do not. Now answer. And if I answer your questions, what then? I will have you drink a potion which will cause you to forget all the magic you have ever learned. Uh, then I would be nothing but a powerless old woman. Precisely. But you'd be alive. And that's a very good thing to be. Especially if one is thoroughly educated. Your decision, Mombi. <laughs> Answer your questions. You have chosen wisely. Captain, my pearl of truth. The pearl of truth. Now, why did the wizard come to you? Because I would not go to him. That is oh, no answer. Yeah. Because he wanted to learn my method for preparing tea biscuits. Look here, Mommy. Uh, what is the color of my pearl? It's murky. Because you have told me a lie. No. The wizard brought me the infant girl, Ozma, and told me to conceal her. And what did you receive from the wizard for thus serving him? He taught me the first magic I ever knew. Some of it was good, some of it was fraud, but I still kept my promise to him. Why, I'm beginning to think less and less of this wizard each day. So it was the wizard who first started Mombi on the road to evil. Mm. Poor Mombi. No! No! <laughs> Tell them, how did you conceal the Princess Ozma? I enchanted her. Continue. I transformed her. In what way? Into... Into... <laughs> into what? Into a boy. A boy. There stands the Princess Ozma. Ozma. The pearl is white, Tip. But I'm not a girl. Not at the moment. But you were born a girl. And a princess. So you must resume your proper form that you may take your place as ruler of the Emerald City. But I want to stay a boy and travel with my friends. I don't want to be a girl. Oh, Tip, it doesn't hurt to be a girl. We'll still be your friends, just the same. But to be perfectly honest with you, Tip, I've always considered girls to be much nicer than boys. Well, just as nice anyway. And they make equally good students. Now, see here. If you become a girl, then you can't be my father anymore. You knew. You knew all along. From the moment I met you, by the emerald ring you wear on your hand. It was your father's. My father? Oh, Jack! At last I know who my father is. Castoria was said to be a very wise and gentle king. But why didn't you tell me in the first place? Because you wouldn't have believed me. I had to lure Mombi here to you, 
For only she can break the charm and prove who you really are. Well, I suppose I could try it. For a little while at least. But if I don't like it, you must promise to change me back into a boy. Oh, really? That is beyond my magic. And this shall be Mommy's final opportunity to practice the art. No, well, let's get to it then. The powers given to me by the wizard expire at the end of this night. No. What's it to be? Tibetarian? Or Ozma? Ozma. Into the tent then, for dawn is swift approaching. You won't leave me. Together, one happy, hearty band. No. I will hold your hand all the while. Go on, old chap. We'll see you in a moment. One of the greatest mysteries in life. From the lowly caterpillar comes the wondrous butterfly. Goodbye, father. Farewell, my friends. Remember Tip, the boy. Loved you all very much. So long as I have my brain and my heart. We'll never forget. Let the transformation begin. From the shadows of time, long concealed, the Ozma, lost princess, come forth, be Princess Ozma. Oh, listen to me! It was all her fault! It was her idea! I know! I wanted to revolt! Did you Silence! Ginger? Have you any words in your defense? Only this. That a life of little more than scrubbing floors or making beds is a dismal prospect to anyone's future. And a government run by me is certainly no worse than one controlled by men. Is that all? Although I made some threats. No evil deeds were committed under my command. The boy, your friend Tip, we met before this city was conquered. He can tell you that I never meant to harm anyone. Not really. She speaks the truth. What? You're not... I am. Princess Ozma has reached a verdict. Ginger, cardamom, return the emeralds you have taken, disband your army of revolt, and all shall be forgiven. You and Mombi too are free to remain here or return from whence you came. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your crown, Queen Ozma. Let it be known that the Emerald City, the center of the marvelous land of Oz, shall now and forever be a place where all creatures may dwell in harmony. Winky, 
Gillikin, pumpkin head, woggle bug, woman, or man. And to you, my very dear and special friends, I hope that you will continue to treat me just as you did before. I'm really still the same tip. You know, only... Only you're... different. <laughs> <laughs> So, my friends, from the sound of these decrees, with us ruling, we shall live in peace. Our families reunited, nothing like a happy family, when everyone's delighted. Oh, when happy, hearty family, let bells ring out across the land of us.